this session we will be doing the tiger so forests are very much closely related with the tigers so starting with the uh, sketching of the tiger whenever you draw any animal like a, a tiger or a deer or a goat or cow any animal you just have to draw uh, this oval shape for the face so as it is heading towards its tail so you can see i have drawn the face towards uh, uh, seeing in the opposite direction so again i i have taken uh, the body shape from the right uh, with the neck so i am doing it slowly so that you can follow it so i am just correct uh, correcting the shape of the body so the very first step of drawing any uh, animal or bird is just take a very rough sketch for the outer body now i am just taking the leg so he is in a sitting uh, position so what i am doing i am creating the legs broader from the body and narrower downwards but they will not be too narrower from uh, downwards in the case of tiger from here i am just taking the front leg so you can see i have created just the uh, rough sketches from here i am uh, drawing the ear which is backwards and from here inside the face i am drawing the ear in the front coming to the eye it will be like a fish body shaped eye so generally in gond we draw either the round eyes or uh, this sh uh, fish shaped eye for the tail we can draw it simply like uh, this the tail going behind but i am drawing a tail from which the tree will arise just to show the interdependence of the creatures with the um, forest or the trees so i am taking the tail making it broader as it goes up so afterwards i will make the branches regarding the nose i am taking a small curve then a smile just i am creating a somewhat open mouth because i will draw a tongue over here okay so you can see if we will uh, add some uh, patterns over there then it can become a it will become a tiger in the same way we uh, with some variations we make the body of different creatures or animals i can say so i am making different branches arising from the tail and the way to draw the branches will be the same so you can make them as much dense as you can so this one i am not making too dense now i am starting giving the shape to the um, claws of the tiger just giving a just a curve over here to give a more realistic look So now I am making the stripes on the body of the tiger so I will be making the stripes from upwards and downwards and some big stripes and some smaller stripes
now i am just marking the pencil marks with the permanent marker or the pigment pen Here I have decided to make a bird. The shape of the bird is as simple as we have learned. So this is a tiger bird from that particular region. So it has long legs and a long beak. So I have added this to the on the back of the tiger. So in this particular painting I am doing a black background uh, to show a night uh, in a dark forest. So I am doing the black in the background. I will just create an outline around the complete motif and then fill the color with uh, background with black. So I have just speeded up the uh, filling of background so that it doesn't get boring for all of you so you can see i'm just creating the outline uh, on our main motive on all the branches and everywhere and thus and just filling the background Just one more tip for the background coloring is to do a second coat on the background with a wat very watery color. It gives a good uh, base to the background coloring. Starting with the body of the tiger, in this I am doing the wash technique. So first of all I am applying uh, water on the body of the tiger and then I will uh, put a very watery color so like it will flow on the color like see I have done a very watery uh, color and it will just when you will apply on the uh, watery background so it will flow and you need not fill the color I am using a yellow and orange for the body of the tiger so you can see I have just applied water on the body and then uh, putting the watery color, uh, the both the colors are in a watery form. So I am just putting the color over the uh, water base so it will flow itself.
for the stems and branches i am using uh, brown uh, and white so i am not using very dark colors as the background is dark you can see so i am keeping my uh, painting more vibrant and with more light colors one more tip is like you if you are using any color on a black background you can just add a, a drop of white in the color so it becomes really vibrant and it adds to the uh, to the brightness of the color Now I'm waiting for the tea and lightly. For the stripes uh, of the tiger, I am mixing orange and brown. So a more of brown and less of orange because I uh, don't want to put brown in it as it will become dull. So I am adding uh, orange to the brown. Now I am taking yellow color and I am making the shape like the mahua fruits one uh, but these are not the mahua fruits I am making the fireflies so you can take a white pencil color to draw this shape uh, okay so I have taken the uh, gel pen white gel pen so we will make all these shapes and then fill them with uh, yellow color.
so after doing two coats of yellow color on each fruit so it's a dark background so we have to do two coats at least to get the uh, good result so i will make these small thorny type of things but it is like the uh, shine of the fireflies so i will talk about this this story in the next session uh, so we will make such patterns over these fireflies you can also use a toothpick to create these patterns In this session we will do the patterning of the tiger and will know the gondi folklore about the tiger so i am doing the stippling in the whole body of the tiger coming to the uh, gondi tradition tiger is worshiped as god they call it as bag dev so in uh, gondi culture the tiger is considered as a watchful guardian therefore they worship it so in this particular painting i have depicted a story of the tiger who is resting under the sambar tree and the sambar tree is filled with the fireflies then a very popular bird of that region that is a titahari bird with long legs and a long beak just lost her way and then he saw the lights of the fireflies and came to rescue um, to the tiger so the tiger was asking the fireflies to show the bird uh, the way so that she can go to her nest back so in this story or folklore we can understand that how closely um, the creatures of the forest are related so the tale of the tiger growing into a tree also depicts the close relation between the forest and its creatures
in the tail i have put dashes in the body i am using a white gel pen to put the dots you can definitely use a toothpick or a brush to put in these dots in the face i am doing stippling again in the wings i am doing the dashes in the stem i am uh, doing the pattern like the scales on the body of a snake so they are very small scales or like on the body of a snake In the fireflies I am putting a white dot in between so as to give a more uh, brightness to the firefly. In the ears I am just uh, in the orange or the brownish part I am just making the slanting lines so in all the stripes also I am making the slanting lines.
in the red uh, neck portion of the uh, tiger i am putting white dots